What's going on, YouTube fan? It's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another video, man. And in this video, I'm going to take y'all through a walk with me through my journey through prison as a teenager. You know, before I start this video, let me put a little disclaimer. I'm not glorifying this. I'm telling y'all this. I'm telling the youth this so they won't make these same mistakes that I made. So if you've been following me for a minute, I'm pretty sure y'all know I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. You feel me? At 17 years old, I got locked up for a charge. You know, I ain't going to speak too much on it. You know what I mean? And it was serious, and they charged me as an adult. So basically, when I got locked up, first time being locked up, other than little petty stuff, my daughter was three months. My mother had just passed away. I was running wild, playing with guns, doing all that. Everything I speak on when I do my little celebrity videos, I'm speaking from a place of understanding or from a place that I've been through a lot of them things that y'all hear me talk about. So basically, when I was 17, when I went in there, you know, I had to fight, of course. Like Baltimore, you know, it's just like that. When you go in jail, they're going to try you. So I was fighting, you know. So as soon as I went in there, I was on a juvenile tear. Even though it was a big boy like jail, they got a juvenile tear for people that's under 18. But if you fight on the juvenile tear, they send you to the adult tear. So like my first week, I got in a fight. So I went on lockup, you feel me, 23 hours a day, one hour out, 17 years old, going crazy, trying to read every book. You know, when I got out lockup, they sent me to the adult tier. They used to call me juvie, like juvenile, because I was so young. But, you know, I fought my case basically for like eight months. You know, I had a lawyer. I thought I was going to beat it, or I thought I was going to get like two, three years. But when I went to court, they gave me 20 years, all suspended, but five. You know, that's why I be telling y'all little dudes, you out there breaking law, make sure you know the law, bro, because when you get in that courtroom, you're going to pass out if they say 20 years. At the time, I didn't know what that meant. I thought they gave me 20 years until my uncle and people around me that been through the system, like, nah, what that mean, you got five years, but when you come home, you got five years parole and probation, and if you violate they give you that 15, so I had to do the five. I went to MCTC, that's Maryland Correctional Training Center in Hagerstown, Maryland. They call it the young jail, you feel me? There's a lot of young dudes up there. There's a lot of old heads up there, too. But basically, it's gladiator school, you know? You got to be about that, you know what I mean? You got to stand on your own, too. I mean, a lot of my family was up there, so it helped me. But I had some old heads that took me under their wing. For, like, my first year, I was running wild. You know, I was taking stuff. I was fighting. I stayed on lockup. But after that, I had some old heads talking to me because I thought there wasn't no hope. I thought my life was over with. I'm like, I got a felony now. I might as well be in the streets forever. But they was like, man, shorty, you young. You going to go home. You going to be like 21. You can get you a girl, get married, take care of your kids, get you a little job, clean your credit up. And plus, you know, like I had dudes that I knew that I looked up to from my neighborhood that was in there, and they had got their life together, turned their life over to God, so I knew it was possible. So, you know, I got my diploma. I started taking things seriously. I got my diploma. Like, it took me, like, four months to get my diploma. Like, you had dudes in there, like, man, I ain't getting no diploma because when I go home, I'm going to do the same thing. But I knew without that diploma, I couldn't do nothing for my daughter when I came home. Like, my daughter was three months when I got locked up. You know what I mean? So, you know, I went through my little phases, you know. I went through all the little wilding out stuff, but I started taking it seriously. Once I got my diploma, they put me on something called a MAP program. A MAP program is where, as though, as long as you do right, you pretty much slide through the system. You go from a regular jail to pre-release. Where pre-release is, it's kind of like getting you ready to go home. So I went to pre-release on the hill in Hagerstown, Maryland, where, as though, I went out to work every day. I had my diploma. Then from there, they sent me to BCCC. Baltimore City Correctional Center. I went down there, you know. I um I did road crew. That's when you go out, you see the people on the road picking up trash. Then I went to work release. Went to work release, got a job, and you know I came home on the box and I stayed at that job six years. I'm running through this, but it wasn't that fast. It's like three and a half years. But yeah, man, that was my journey, you know. And I tell all y'all young dudes, man, please don't go out here and get a felony, man. I'm 32 years old. I still deal with this. You feel me? And, you know, I just wanted to update y'all on this, man. I just felt like talking about this today. If you're new to the fan, be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell for uploads. Check out the links in the description. Follow me on Instagram at underscore Tony two times. Love y'all, fam.